Okay, so now we're gonna learn how to create histograms in Tableau. There is two ways, one quick way and one advanced way. The quick way, if you have one measure, the advanced way, if you have two measures. The histograms are a really great way in order to show the distribution of your data using bar charts. So let's see how we can do that. Let's work with the one measure, the quantity. So right click on it and then go to create and then to bins. And here we can go and configure our bins. I'm gonna leave it as a default as Tableau suggests. So let's go and click okay. With that, we have created a new bin, a new dimension in our data pane. So now what we can do, we're gonna go and grab it to the columns. And here you can find the size of our bins. And then we're gonna go and get the quantity to the rows. And then the next and the last step, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the quantity and convert it from discrete to continuous. So right click on it and switch it to continuous. So with that we have created a very simple and nice histogram to see the distribution of our data using the measure quantity. Alright, the next one is going to be a little bit more advanced where we're going to create a histogram using two different measures. The number of customers by the number of orders. So we want to cluster our customers based on the number of orders that they placed. So now in order to do that, we have to create our pins, but now we're going to use the calculated field in order to do that using the LOD expressions fixed. So let's see how we can do that. Let's go and create a new calculated field. Let me just move it a little bit over here. So what we're going to find out is the number of orders per customers. So in order to do that, we can use the LOD function fixed. So it starts with fixed. Let me select that. And then for each customers, we want to count the number of orders. So for customers, we're going to get the customer ID and then the aggregation is going to be the number of orders. So that means we're going to go and count the order ID. All right, so that's it. Let's go and hit OK. So with that Tableau did create a continuous measure, but I would like to convert it to a discrete dimension. So right click on it and let's convert it to dimension. And that's it. So now let's go and grab it to our view and check the informations. All right, so with that, you can see that we have already our bins and those are the different number of orders that the customers did order. So the next step, we need our second measure. It's going to be the number of customers. So let's go to the customers count over here, drag and drop it to the rows. And as well, let's take the customers to the labels. And with that, we got a very nice histogram in Tableau using two measures. So again here, if you want to build a histogram from two different measures, one of those measures has to be the basics, the pens of the histogram, and the second measure going to be used in order to do the counts. So now we can see very quickly that most of our customers are ordering between 13 orders and like 16 orders. All right, so those are the two methods on how to create histograms, the easy way and the little bit complicated way.